All right, hello. So quick um, hip stretch for sciatic and back pain. I call it my standing hamstring. Right side, mountain pose, head, shoulders, butt, heels back against the wall. Watch that alignment, all right? Not too much of that. If you have a hurt back, you're gonna notice that you're doing that, that you're trying to protect, and what you really need to really work on is maintaining perfect posture, relaxing, the back muscles that you've irritated or injured. All right, so start in mountain pose. Take your right leg and step it a foot in front of the other foot, okay? So you're in this kind of staggered stance. Hip, shoulders, face forward, and you're still in alignment, okay? Lift from the belly button, bring the body weight back. See that subtle difference, breathe. Now flex the front foot, bend the back knee in a 90 degree chair, or a good squat, so the knee stays behind the toe. That front foot is fully engaged, a quad setting. Really pushing the back of the knee down, firing that quad, releasing the hamstring. Now let your hips shift. See the shift? As you flatten and lower your torso, you're trying to ultimately bring it to the top of the thigh. Breathe. One, one thousand, two. Really flex this foot. I don't know if you can see it, but Maddie in the way. Come up, drop both feet, hips forward, shoulders back. Bring your hands on your hips. Like this, and your elbows together, lift from the belly button as you do that. It's a really good psoas stretch. That will help you with back. Foot is flat in front, go hip forward, shoulder back, breathe. Okay, now this time, keep the foot flat. Don't flex it, but engage that quad and do that same opposite knee bend. Hip shoulders forward, hip shifts back hinging all right you'll feel that i get a little more of my groin breathe we hold it for two seconds looking ahead maintaining perfect posture maintaining from the belly button breathe in come up now when you go back flex the foot on the back so we just reverse the foot so now it's flexed go now ultimately if you can you want to get fingers hands to the ground belly flat arms uh, extended fully fingertips forward Breathe, and your nose to your knee. Come flat back forward, nose to the knee, round. Flat back forward, breathe, come up, straighten your leg, drop your foot, hip forward, breathe. And repeat it, the other side, okay? Right to that. In the middle, give me a little bit of a knee bend. I'm gonna squat and just bring your belly to your thigh. Relax everything, it's hard. Like let you bend the knee, let the belly go to the thigh. Relax like right at the bottom of the rib cage, up in here, just relax those muscles. If it really hurts, keep your hands here. You can put a board, you can have a chair in front of you, whatever you need to do, breathe, just relax. And straighten your leg, bend and stand. All right, so it's down. Breathe, straighten. Ultimately, this is what you want to be able to do and come up. All right, that should help. Oh, excuse me, that should help with any back ache, hamstring stretches, knee issues. All right, namaste.